Sri Lanka has a new president-elect. Anura Kumara Tisanayaka has claimed victory after winning just over 42% in Saturday's election. The incumbent, Ranil Wickremesinghe, has congratulated AKD on the victory. The Marxist lawmaker has spent most of his career on the fringes. But two years after Sri Lanka's unprecedented financial crisis, his promises of tax cuts and tackling corruption has resonated with voters. He's set to become Sri Lanka's next president. Anura Kumara Disanayake is a leftist politician who spent most of his political career on the margins. Known as AKD by his supporters, he's promised to cut taxes and bring in policies to help poorer people, those who bore the brunt of Sri Lanka's economic meltdown and are still struggling as the economy recovers. For a long time, people who faced great difficulties fought in various ways for justice and fairness. But for the past decades, we couldn't win a final victory. We think we can win this election. Disanayake heads the National People's Power Coalition. It's a political force pulling together civil society associations, students and religious groups and Disanayake's own Marxist-leaning party, the People's Liberation Front. It's an outfit that held just three seats in Parliament before this vote. He also campaigned against corruption in a country that has been governed by political dynasties. In 2022, an economic crisis led to a mass protest movement that ousted the previous elected president. At that time, Disanayake tapped into the anger at elite corruption. What we have to do is go beyond the protests and form a government that will develop the country's economy and maintain the supremacy of law. A government without corruption and fraud, one that will confiscate property bought with bribery and corruption and punish those who do it. The election results show Sri Lankans want change and are giving Anura Kumara Disanayake a mandate to steer the country's recovery in a different direction.